Facebook launches its live streaming video Periscope Killer, a new OS X malware attack can completely brick your Mac, Netflix now offers unlimited maternity and paternity leave, and more. It's Wednesday, August 5th, and this is Crunch Report. Facebook loves to steal ideas and then apply those ideas to its own product. Today, that idea is what Meerkat and Periscope apps have been fighting over for the last few months, live streaming video. Facebook has just launched Live, that's a feature. It's a feature in its standalone Mentions app that you might not be using because the Mentions app is only for celebrities with a verified page. Now, I am certainly not a celebrity, but I am a Facebook verified user. So I'm technically a VIP and I can start a live broadcast that's posted to my news feed or other people's news feeds and then watch comments overlaid in real time on my stream, make my recording permanently available for viewing, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, when I try to hook it up, the Facebook Mentions app doesn't find my page. Actual celebrities like Dwayne Johnson, aka The Rock, tennis star Serena Williams, and other public figures do have access though, and they've already started to post videos. So why can't just anybody who wants to stream video be a part of this? Well, clutter and bad video. Or as Facebook tells TechCrunch's Josh Constein, quote, we want to get feedback from both public figures and viewers as we evolve the product. What's unique about Facebook Live versus Periscope or Meerkat is that videos don't disappear. 53% of Facebook video views come from reshares, and it's very likely that that might happen after a broadcast ends, and Facebook knows that. Broadcasters have the power to delete their videos if they want, but by default, the auto-published live feed story will turn into traditional video and increase the chance that someone will watch. Currently, there's no way to reshare a stream while it's in progress. The 18th annual Black Hat Security Conference is in full swing in Las Vegas this week, which always brings new batches of zero-day exploits from elite hacksaws that demonstrate how insecure today's gadgets are. How about this one? A serious vulnerability in OS X, it's called Thunderstrike, which allows malware creators to completely brick your Mac without any way to reset it to its factory status. The exploit works through an attached Thunderbolt accessory like an Ethernet adapter or an external hard drive, kind of common stuff. With code received through a phishing email or a malicious site, malware code can find connected Thunderbolt accessories and infect an option ROM. After a reboot, the code executes, your Mac's firmware stops working, and you are SOL. And if you plug your Ethernet adapter into a new Mac, then that Mac will get infected too when it reboots. Apple told The Guardian that it is working on a fix for both Yosemite and El Capitan, but long story short, be careful when you download something, as always, and unplug your Thunderbolt devices before rebooting your Mac, just to be safe. Contrary to popular belief, OS X is not safe from this junk. Netflix is on fire as a company right now. A few hours after hitting its all-time stock price high yesterday, the company announced a new unlimited maternity and paternity leave program. The company says in a statement, quote, today we're introducing an unlimited leave policy for new moms and dads that allows them to take off as much time as they want during the first year after a child's birth or adoption. This is with full pay, mind you. Full pay. And did I mention that the new policy is in addition to unlimited time off, which Netflix already provides? On the surface, it makes no sense. How can a company afford to do this? Well, Netflix is doing well, and because good talent is hard to keep, and because that talent is getting older, and because that talent is having kids, companies want employees to work hard and do good work. If they're burning the candle with kids and child care on top of that work, well, the company might not really win at all. By the way, the trickle effect has already started. Microsoft announced earlier today that in addition to eight weeks of paid maternity leave, it will make its 12 weeks of parental leave after that fully paid as well. That means new moms can take a full 20 weeks off and dads get 12. Microsoft will also now match its 401k matching program 100% up to the federal limits. We've seen the trends building for a while now. Back in 2013, Yahoo doubled its maternity and paternity leave to make it more competitive with Facebook and Google. And in Technologies Fitness Corner, Fitbit reported its first earnings since going public earlier this summer, and the wearable fitness tracker maker beat the street by a lot, with $400 million in revenue and earnings per share of 21 cents. 
Fitbit also sold 4.5 million wearable health and fitness devices in the second quarter of 2015. It does not appear, at least in the short term, that April's launch of the Apple Watch, which of course includes dedicated fitness tracking features of its own, has had much of a negative impact on Fitbit's business. In other washboard abs news, those aren't mine, I'm just... Anyway, app maker Runtastic has been acquired by sportswear brand Adidas Group. The deal values Runtastic at 220 million euros. That's about $240 million. Runtastic was founded in Austria back in 2009 and has over 20 fitness and health and endurance apps under its umbrella brand and also makes wearables and other fitness monitors. The company claims 140 million downloads in total with around 70 million registered users. This is all the rage, really. Back in February, fitness gear brand Under Armour bought health and fitness trackers Endomondo and MyFitnessPal. And in May, Weight Watchers bought Hot Five. Shooting action videos, a lot of fun, right? But editing all that video, ugh, way less fun, rather cumbersome. A new action camera called Grava wants to save you the headache and edit all that video for you. For a $249 pre-order, Grava uses motion, audio, an accelerometer, GPS sensors, even your own voice cues to get a sense of your best or your most dramatic footage, your most dramatic moments. Grava's app will edit the scenes that fit to match the beat of a song of your choice, and then you're ready to rock and share with others. Grava will take eight megapixel photos or three full hours of 1080p video. The action camera will ship in February 2016 and will eventually cost $399. So if you like this idea, now is probably the time to pre-order. The big hurdle here, of course, is cutting into GoPro's market. GoPro is a solid brand, and various cameras in GoPro's product range can undercut Grava in price. They support 60 frames per second in 4K video, which Grava does not. They have LCD preview screens, which Grava does not. But Grava does get twice the battery life of most GoPros, and that is key because, again, you just leave it on, do your fun stuff, and let it organize itself later. And that is the report for today, Big News Day. I'm Sarah Lane. Crunch Report airs Monday through Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific, right here on TechCrunch.com. See you all tomorrow.